Warning, I swear a lot. Hi guys, and welcome back to Fallout. So last time we were captured, mainly because I just kind of agreed to it without realizing what I was agreeing to. We were tortured, interrogated, beaten up, and placed in a cell to be dipped. Now, I played some video games in my time, a couple, not many, but some, and I'm pretty sure I don't want to get dipped, but counterintuitively, we're going to start today's episode with a save. And this save will be Ned Risk. Ned Ritz. It means need rest, because our HP is practically zero. I want to see if I can rest before continuing my next action. I don't know how long it's going to be before they dip me, but I get the feeling if enough time passes, they will dip me. This is the kind of game you cannot rest at this location. Well, that answers my question, doesn't it? Okay, we just need to try and find a way out. Mirror. Stare at your image. If you had a toilet fetish, this would be a nice toilet. Thanks, video game, that helps. The game would obviously allow for some way to escape, but you're gonna have to be smart about it, and... Hello, there's a corpse in here. Well, that's just... No, there is something out of... There... Yeah, there was something out of ordinary. <gasps> a pistol and stim packs. Okay, well that's a good start, isn't it? Although I don't believe I have any ammo. Um, let's at least get this stuff equipped, shall we? Um, I really need to heal myself desperately because I'm not going to last very long if I do try and defend myself. I think I'm going to need one more of those. Pretty sure. There we go. Just give me some skiddly diddly. Okay, yeah, now I am, I think, at full health, maybe. I'd near enough. If I used another one now, it would be a waste, so let's just equip the last one. I don't know if this pistol has any rounds in it. It has 12 shots of 10mm GHP. Okay, so I have something, and I'm reasonably decent in melee combat. The fact of the matter is, I'm still stuck in here. I'm not going to start shooting things because I've got such preciously small amounts of ammo, although I did save. Maybe I need to fire a bullet to get his attention, huh? I'll shoot a bullet, he'll be like, what do? And then he opens the door and I'll blast him. I'm gonna assume I can't, sh yeah, no. Okay, I can't just shoot things for no reason. That is reasonable, I have to admit. Two minutes have passed, oh boy, we're gonna be here a while. Okay, well, it's been 15 minutes. I don't think this is, um... I think this is going to go the way I want it to, so let's just load the save. Let's ignore that guy in the future. Let's just completely ignore him, or shoot him if he decides to try and take me to his boss. Let's go down there, actually. We'll explore this area. We'll go back. We're looking for the parts for the water pump. Let's fucking do that instead. It's a shame. I was kind of, I was interested to kind of, you know, do all that stuff in the base and whatnot, but, you know, if it's a dead end, it's a dead end. Hold on a fucking t where am I? Ghoul gang guard. Are these guys all hostile? Hey guys. Uh, hey. What are you doing here? Answer wisely, this could be your only chance. I'm looking for the boss. Set ain't here, so get- Oh, okay, bye. I mean, if they're not gonna attack me, then that's just spiffy, really. They've all got knives. I'm not particularly scared of them, to be honest. I'm considerably tougher and better equipped. I think. If they're anything like the feral ghouls, they might not actually be like the feral ghouls, it occurs to me. Let's go steal from them. I like stealing. It's my favourite. It's, they've got nothing. You people are useless. Okay, well, fuck it then. So the sooner we can get that vault chip, the better. And then once we've got that, hmm, we can think about... Oh, hello, 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 hello. Is Set here? I'd like to speak to Set. Ghoul gang guard, what's that? A glowing creature. Oh, glowing ones. Oh, I see. Ghoul guard. Ghoul guard. Ghoul guard. Ghoul guard. Wall. Ghoul. Set. That's who I wanted to speak to. I hope he's friendly, otherwise this is gonna end very, very, very quickly. Gotta go down there. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. I just wanna get his opinion of things. See if he's chill. If he's not chill, I'll completely ignore him and go and get the water chip. Or the parts, or whatever the fuck. Because I don't care if these all die, fuck them. I lost all my empathy ages ago. Excuse me there, Mr. Guard. Could you let me inside? I'd like to speak with the boss. Go away, you're not wired here. Oh, uh, but I need to get in. Is there any way you can help me? Told you to leave, your kind is not wired here. What if I just... Nah, it's a poor idea. It's a poor idea. It's a poor idea. <laughs> 
It is a poor idea. Let it never be said that I am not a cooperative man. I've wasted so much time in this episode. It's been 20 minutes and literally nothing's happened. But now we know that Set's over there. I'm not going to be able to go find him. Let's just focus on the objective that we actually had in mind. I'm only going back over there because I really want that fucking pistol. So I'll just rejoin you guys once I've done that to save wasting your time. I'm going to shoot the fuck out of you. I hope you realize. Stay still, you bitch. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That... That was a bit... <laughs> that was a bit more than I actually thought. We're done here. Let's go. A rat will probably stop me, and I'll fucking stab it. Well, let's check this out, since we didn't last time, and see where it leads. I appreciate this isn't going to lead to where the service parts are, but... Oh! Oh! Interesting. We appear to have snuck our way into the ghoul place. Sneaky peeky. Maybe we can go talk to Set after all. I should switch to my pistol just in case. I don't see myself surviving what may transpire. <gasps> it is a fucking shotgun, isn't it? And a club. Fucking, oh my goodness. Give, give all of it. Is that, okay. Yeah, I got it all. Was that 20 or two shotgun shells? No, it was definitely more than that. Interesting. Well, I might not actually give myself away with so much good loot back here. A Winchester Widowmaker double barrel 12 gauge shotgun. Short barrel with mahogany grip. It has two, two shots of 12 gauge shotgun shell. Okay, wow. I don't think I can actually make my way through. No. So I've just robbed them, really. Which I'm quite happy about. We just got some free stuff. And a shotgun might come in handy. Who knows? There could be any kind of circumstance wherein, you know, my pistol just isn't quite cutting it. Or I run out of pistol ammo and I'm like, wait... I've got a shotgun. We're going to want to get into that general area. I assume this is going to be where the parts are, or lead to where the parts are. It's a little confusing, not going to lie, but we'll figure it out. There is something else I want to try, though. Something I am curious about. These guys are all friendly. No need to worry about them. They're not even ghoul gangs, are they? They're just ghouls. They're just normal people. They're just chilling. So there's him, and he's got nothing going on. He's completely neutral. He doesn't care about you. It's the guy up here I'm curious about because I had the option to kill him. Like, obviously that means fighting him. So I'm going to equip my fucking shotgun. Yes, I am. <laughs> and I'm going to go over there and I'm going to teach that fat bitch why you don't capture foreman. Sure enough, fat Fate bit bix. I'm coming to get you. Hey, I... you not look like ghoul. But I am a ghoul. You not ghoul. I knew. I knew. Not fool, Harry. You're right. And now that you know, I'll have to kill you. Yeah. <gasps> oh, Harry, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't do that. He's got a fucking laser cannon. Wait. Oh, there was another mutant. Oh, there's two mutants. Oh, there's a fuck ton of mutants. Well, it would appear I under overestimated the situation that I found myself in. Let's put the boots to this boy medium style. I hope that hurt. It did five points of damage. I'm about to fucking... I can't believe he missed again. Out of ammo. Of course, you have to reload this thing each time, don't you? Because it's a double barreled shotgun. Oh no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now they're punching me. Gary, my own father. 54 hit points. Bypassing your armor. The blow certainly did knock me off my feet. Your life in. It also knocked me off my torso. That kind of confirms to me as well, actually, that we would not have survived trying to break out of the military base. I'm a fucking idiot. There's a manhole cover right there. I was literally standing on it. I'm also gonna um, unequip my... I'm better with a pistol. I only equipped the shotgun because that was such close range, so I figured that would be the weapon to go for. Obviously, it wasn't. Back to the pistol. Looking forward to the opportunity to trade with someone so I can actually swap that thing out. Or bet, sorry, my brain. I can sell the shotgun, perhaps buy some 44 rounds or something. That would be what I want. There we go. 
I missed. Well, I guess I'll just die then. Hey, buddy, how do you like headshots? Oh, he loves them. You can tell. Just take the extra AC, I suppose. He knocked me over of nine points! That tiny rat just knocked me on my ass and hit me for nine points. What is this video game? It's like my leather armor doesn't even mean anything. There we go, I put a hole in his left leg. What do you think about that, you little fuck? Oh, he's running away, good. Oh, he's still running away. Shoot him again. He's quite durable. This is taking way too many bullets. There we go. I'm not very good at pixel hunting. As you may have noticed, I was never very good at, um... Point and click adventures. That thing is not hostile for some reason. Can I talk to it? <laughs> Funny enough, no. <gasps> junk! Maybe that junk is what I need. Did I just pick up junk? Is that what I did? I did. Pile of junk parts. A little bit of everything. It weighs 12 pounds. Jesus Christ. Well, if I don't need to fight that mole rat, then I'm not gonna, because it's a fucking boring waste of time. It also wastes ammo. But we got some junk. We can probably use that to fix the water pump. I have to assume that's why it's there. Because I haven't been able to pick up any other junk in the game, so logic dictates that this is the thing. For some reason, that mole rat didn't attack me, presumably because I absolutely smashed the fuck out of its friend. So it learned. Let's try and investigate that one, because that one seems quite important. So it's to the... Yeah, I know I'm victorious. It's like to the east, east, south. Or southeast, east, I think is how you say that. Southeast, east of this one. If I keep that in mind, it should be pretty easy to find. Hang on a minute. Oh, for far! Is this actually just like the super mutant area or what? Terry? Let's save before we talk to Terry. Big job, big Terry. What's up, Terry? Hey, no talking, it disturbs my thinking. Well, I can sympathize, admittedly. This is where I came up from. Yeah, that's where I came up from. The thing in question was like northwest west. It gives me the impression that it's probably in that building, which would require me going through Harry. Which I've got to be frank, I just don't want to do. Unless there's another way around. It's possible that the junk I've found is already what I need to bring back to that little ghoul leader. I don't know. But I don't want to go all the way back. Oh, fuck it, I'll go all the way back. Screw it. Maybe he can give us more directions. I couldn't find my way over there. I suspect I'd have to muscle my way past Harry and his backup dancers, and that's a little bit more than I'm capable of right now. If he lands one shot on me, I will die. But to be fair, his accuracy seemed fucking terrible, so maybe I could do that if, if it came to it. Hey, I found some junk. Oh, look, a first aid kit. I found some junk. Is that what you wanted? Do you have the parts needed to repair the water pump? Yeah, here they are. Well, it looks like you may need some help with the parts. There are some books now that we have found littered around. These may help you. Now, please take these the parts to the watershed and repair the pump. But where's the watershed? What if I ask him about the watershed? Watershed. The broken water pump is there. Also, that's where the mutants hand out the water from their new source. Crap. Oh, yeah, but I'm still working on it. Great, so do I have to go past the mutants? Is that what you're telling me? That I have to go past the mutants in order to do this? They gave me three books. Does that permanently increase my repair, or do it for a little bit? Hang on, let's save and find out. I'm gonna be properly anal about this. Ian sucks, Ian's dead, no one cares. Big deeb. Mm. You learn a lot about repairing broken electronics. Yeah, that did repair, that did, that did, that did, that did. Let's just keep doing that. No reason to not get really good at this. I still need to find the fucking watershed, don't I? Your repair is 45. That's pretty good. <sighs> okay, now I need to find a way to, what, get past the mutants, I suppose. Which is gonna be a real fucking issue, actually, because they're big. And scary. Apparently it's around where the mutants are handing out the water for the ghouls. 
which is how they're capturing people, I assume. The only thing I can think of is to just try and literally blast my way past Harry. If I can kill Harry, I think I'd be good, because I think the rest of those mutants were just using melee attacks, which carries its own risk, but I think I could probably take them out if I have a gun and they don't. Good lord, how long was I doing that for? I've read those books for a long time. Maybe I should... Well, I don't need to rest. Can't afford to waste time. Watershed whacking. Because there's going to be a lot of whacking going on. Oh, yeah, it's that. Okay, so I think we're just going to have to try and fucking force our way through. To this end, it's 8 out of 8 shots of 44 Magnum. We've got 10 rounds in reserve. Get the knife. What if we just kind of... What if we just kind of... Hey, uh, you not look like ghoul. How come? Can we buy it? It's personal, not buy it with you. I am you a ghoul. not ghoul. I knew. I knew. Not full Harry. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. You not ghoul. Or to say, not ghoul, not be here. All right, thanks. I'll be leaving now. Harry think he beat your head now. Oh. Uh. See? See? I was hit for 37 hit points. See, Harry, that's not like... I'm using the wrong weapon. That's not beating someone's head. He shot me. That's different. Go for the eyes. Fuck. <laughs> Continue to go for the eyes. Nearly blinding the mutant. You've earned days of agony for this. Totally worth it. See, now he can't hit me. I'm gonna go for the head. I killed him. Oh no, I knocked him to the floor. That's still something. Okay, if I lose this time, I think I know what to do next time. Instead of having my knife in my offhand, I think I'll have a stim pack. Because I did survive a hit, but I think those mutants are about to come over and beat me up. I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> Look. Okay, there goes my torso. Well, okay then. I think I can do that because my pistol does an absurd amount of damage. And while the mutants are durable, they're not very well armored. So, I think I can do it. I just gotta be smarter about this. Okay. Get my magnum. And then, instead of my knife, stim pack. All we need to do is focus on killing Harry straight away. Just unload into him. If we can do that, we'll be set. Now I have to kill you. Nothing personal, bruv. It's unfortunate that he gets the first shot, because that could literally end the fight right there. I need to try and get closer. Six. Let's see. I've got two, four, six, eight, nine, so I can only spend three trying to get closer. Like that. Go for the eyes! Fuck. Well, I'm doomed. No, not yet. Eyes! Fuck, I'm doomed. <laughs> Please don't shoot me, Harry. I lived. I lived, bitch. You can't stop me. Go for the eyes. Oh, yeah. I was hitting the eyes for three points. That's really not quite what I was hoping for. Ow. <laughs> that was um, decisive. So what if I go down here? Pull out my magnum. What if I go down here? and just execute this motherfucker like, you know, a commissar style. I suspect that Harry isn't very accurate from long range, right? That's just my assumption. There we go. One dead mutant. Larry was killed. They ain't done nothing yet. Oh, I can just end combat. Cool. So they- I don't know if they even know I killed him. As another part of my extreme genius, we have a grenade. Let's use it. Let's use it. What if we throw it at him? Sup, bitch. I missed. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, I missed. Hey, Harry, how's it going? You, uh, you're a little close there, pal. What if I go around the corner? Yeah! Just lead him on a wild goose chat. Hey, hey, bud. <laughs> you got there very quickly. If I crippled his arms, he's using a two-handed weapon. Surely that would fuck his aim, right? Harry was quickly hitting the right arm for 28 hit points, breaking the thick arm and spewing mutant blood all over the ground. Now if I put a lamppost between me and him. 
now he's running away. Just as I thought he might. Kind of follow him a little bit. I don't have enough to do a special shot, but I've got enough to just take a shot at him. If I can kill him, this fight is over. Alright, Harry. Now I'm in charge. Oh, yeah. Closer. I'm making it happen, ladies and gentlemen. Somehow, somehow, don't ask me how, because I'm not sure. Making it happen. What's up, Harry? I wish I hadn't wasted that grenade now, because that'd be really useful against that group of mutants in the next room. But, you know, one thing at a time, right? Hey, I made Harry run away. It's good enough for me, I guess. I only need to get through and fix the, uh... Oh my god, the ammo! 44 JHP, 10 JHP, 10 AP. Fucking hell, Harry was packing. Look at all this. Give. 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 Missiles. Rockets. Give. Funny that he had all that, yet he was, you know, packing a laser cannon, but whatever. What you got in here? An assault rifle? Uh, yeah, I didn't think I would. <laughs> I thought that might be a bit too heavy, considering everything I'm carrying. I'll get rid of the fruit. Don't need it. I also learned I shouldn't have eaten that iguana on a stick, because that's useful for something else, but I'll get to that later. When we get back to the hub, we'll just, you know, get some new iguana. Unsurprisingly, that assault rifle is very heavy, so let's give one of our knives. No. Hmm. I really want to take the assault rifle just in case. What does this thing use anyway? I don't know. There we go. We've got the assault rifle. Cool. This is proving to be quite fruitful. We didn't even have to kill Harry. We just sent him running for cover like a tiny bitch. Ow. Alright then. If you want to fucking dance, big man, we can dance. Critically hit in the head for 39 hit points. The giant mutant looks around for a moment and then slumps to the ground. He is still alive, I'd like to point out, but... Damn, that was something. <gasps> I didn't think they were packing. Uh, you there. I mean, uh, I did hit him. Uh, let's move away. Ow. Good news is, he's in the way so his buddy can't get me. Oh, wow. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's straight up dead. Barry's dead. Hey, how's it going? Headshot? I mean, I am going to execute him, for what it's worth. These Sal- that was Sally. Oh, I feel- mm. I don't know why that made me feel less good about it, but it did. All right, what are you boys carrying? What is that? A fl he had a flamethrower. He was going to use that on me. <laughs> I don't know if he had ammo for it, but he had a flamer. Is it a bit cruel? I suppose it is, yeah, but... Fuck him. Harry can be the only survivor. He can go back and report how much of a bitch he and his men were. So that... That is the water pump. Use the junk on the thing. You're having difficulty making these parts work. Well, I'm gonna try again, then. I did it! I fucking did it! I fixed the pump! It struggles to life after you successfully install the missing parts. I fucking did it, though, didn't I? And thanks to this little adventure, I have so much more... ...fucking 44 Magnum ammo. And an absolute shit ton more 10mm ammo. I'm doing great. To the point where I can actually afford to have a pistol in each item slot, because why not? And we leveled up. God, this game is dope. <laughs> fucking... I like it. Let's round some things off. We'll get speech up past 70. We'll get doctor up part up to 60. We're going to get lockpick up to five, 35. We're going to get repair up to 50. And then we'll put the rest in small guns. There we go. I suspect if I want to help these guys, uh, I'm going to have to go kill Harry as he probably has the key. Let's save first. Let's save. Let's save. I did it. Let's go find Harry. Put the final cap in his ass. In he ass. Bear in mind that uh, there is a you mutant in there. You Harry's friends. I hurt you. Okay. There he is, running away. Considering he's still running away. Let's actually just ignore him entirely. And follow Harry. Okay, now he's coming after us. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. This is how you wish to play. 26 hit points. I hope that hurt. 
I'm gonna go after Harry. I am gonna kill him. I really hope that hurt you, Terry. I really do. Oh, it hurt him so much, he's fucking running. Hey, Terry. How's it going, Terry? Oh, yes, Terry. Oh, you've run out of places to run, Terry. Okay, I found this on the web for how to cure Terry. Check it out. What? <laughs> what? Google, I didn't ask you to do anything. <laughs> so Google just checked to see how to kill Terry. Um, that's probably going to get me put on some kind of government watch list. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well, let's not think about that too much and just go kill Harry, shall we? Harry, I swear, Christ, if you keep playing Ring Around the Roses with me, I'm going to get very upset very quickly. Yeah. <gasps> Stumbled into my trap. Finish him. Well, I mean, I didn't finish him, but that did hurt him. Friends will get you for me, will they, though? Will they? Because they appear to be dead. Hang on, we'll take the extra steps towards him to increase accuracy. Anyway, as I was saying, your friends appear to be dead, Harry. Dead. They're very dead. Seems to be wearing decent armor, though, because I'm having a real tough time hurting him, even though I'm using a fucking 44. Good news is he's going this way, which means he doesn't have a lot of avenues left to run. Hit him in the head. Oh, fuck off, game. Fuck off with your fuck off. He just went through the door frame. Uh... Harry, you're really pissing me off now. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm out of ammo. Hit him for another five hit points, which I suspect is not much of his total maximum amount. Oh, I thought he fled the map for a moment. Show him again. I'm not done with you. Can he actually flee the map? This is something we're about to find out. Friends will get you for me. No, they won't. I am faster than him. Um, well, I just can't. I guess he left. Okay, well, hmm, that was strange and really annoying. So, we know that super mutants are massive wusses who will run away when you shoot them. It doesn't matter though, we actually did what we actually came here to do, and what we came here to do was repair the pump. We just happened to also murder a bunch of mutants in the process, thanks to our 44 Magnum, which is pretty dope. If this all pans out, then I'll just go back to the hub, get resupplied because I've got a bunch of stuff to trade, go back to the vault, deliver the water chip, and then probably end up having to do something about the super mutants I just killed. I'm quite impressed though, I didn't think I'd be taking down super mutants this early, but that gun is really fucking good. Thank you for repairing the water pump, and I hope all is well with your people when you return with what you have found. Water chip. Where is the water chip? I don't actually know where it is. From the place under the watershed, it might have something to do with that. Okay. Thank you for your help. I guess we just have to go back and look under the watershed. It's just as well, maybe Harry's come back and I can kill him. I'd like that. I'd like that a lot. If I could go back there and kill Harry. It's just that, you know, there's a super mutant with a fucking laser cannon and I don't like it. I want to take it away from him. Because that's too much power for that fucking moron to be carrying. So Harry's not here anymore. He has made the smart decision and fucking left. Probably running back to his master blubbering and crying. Is this where the hole in the ground is? I think so. Oh, that looks like it. And this will presumably lead down to where I can find the vault chip. It's looking like- it's certainly looking that way, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it though, actually? It's actually looking that way. Sewer hole. Glowing ones. A vault. Oh, this could be what we're looking for. Although, those are glowing ones, aren't they? Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. But that is going to be an issue for next time. Thank you so much for watching. Foreman one mutants minus 97. It's looking pretty good for me so far, but once again, thank you so much for watching. This was a very combat heavy episode. It was a strange one as well, because it started off with absolutely nothing as I sat in a jail cell wondering what the fuck I was supposed to be doing. But things worked out. We fixed the war pump. We murdered Harry. Actually, we didn't murder Harry. Harry got away, but we murdered his friends, and he ran off. Nearly killed him, though. 
and we've got a fuck ton more ammo. I'm interested to see how the next episode starts, because killing those ghouls might be really easy, or they might be way more powerful than me, so... We'll find out next time, but I'm still having fun. I'm still enjoying this very much. I'm looking forward to having the Super Mutants become more of a present threat, because I know they are the big bad of this game. Or at least they work for the big bad. So I'm looking forward to seeing them kind of... This chair is squeaking way too much. Looking forward to them kind of becoming the... the problem that I'm going to be running into a lot. But, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Whatever happens next time, and I think we're gonna get ourselves a motherfucking goddamn shit-kicking water chip. Have a see there. Doodles. Goodbye.